to my first full day in London. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I just got back to the hotel room, hopped out for a little bit. Um, I just went over to my friend Alicia's for breakfast. So I didn't vlog because they had all the kids there and she has three and a friend of her husband's, her and her husband's was visiting. So just kind of caught up a bit, had a nice time. So now I'm back. I'm sitting at the little kitchen counter. I'm overheated again. I am having a really hard time not getting overheated. And it's really kind of irritating me, to be honest. I just, I so desperately want to feel cold. I know that probably sounds weird to some people, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm so hot. But I got the first vlog up today. Yay. <laughs> it's about 10 o'clock, so it's not late. I managed to wake up at about 6, 6.15. So got a good start to the morning. I think I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit, do some work on my conference presentation. I did a little bit of work last night before I fell asleep, but I was so tired. I FaceTimed with my mom for a little bit and I was so tired that I was just yawning every other word and shivering even though I wasn't cold. I was just shivering from being tired. So I want to get my paper done <laughs> earlier in the day and then I can go back out. My hair was so cute and then I just had to put it up because I'm so hot. It, it is cooler today, it's cloudy but I think it's still supposed to be in the 60s and it's in the 50s right now and I'm sorry, I know to Londoners and most normal people 50s is cold but 50s and to anyone in Arizona 50s is freaking freezing because it never gets down into the 50s and rarely gets to the 60s but I'm just uh, kind of miss visiting in winter I kind of wish it was in the 30s <laughs> I said, I just want to feel cold. I'm tired of feeling hot. Anyway, I'm going to stop moaning about the weather because I do that too much. I'm going to get some water. Maybe if I cool off a bit, make some more peppermint tea like I had this morning and try to get this paper done. Wish me luck. <laughs> I feel like this has probably not been the best vlog, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I talked to you briefly earlier and told you that I had gone over to my friend's house. Yeah, so I came home. I'm just gonna call this home <laughs> because we all know that's how it really is. So I came home. I did go back out to the grocery store. I started working. I started working on my conference paper and it was probably around noon. I just started feeling so tired. I mean, I was just, I, I was ready to just fall asleep. 
which was making my anxiety not too great. I was starting to cry and just getting really upset and stressed. And yeah, not good. So I went out to Waitrose, which is not far. There's a Tesco Express that's like just not even a full block down in one direction. And then Waitrose is kind of straight in the other direction. And it's a much bigger grocery store. So I knew they'd have more of what I was looking for. And they did. So I got yogurt and bread and butter for breakfast. I got some ready to eat meals for lunch and dinner and some soup. So I had some of the soup earlier. I think I showed you guys that. So I had soup with a couple slices of bread. I've been feeling, I'm, I'm feeling really hungry now, so I do need to eat, um, but I've been only kind of partially hungry off and on throughout the day, and then when I do eat, I just don't really want to eat. My stomach's just still so nervous with thinking about the conference. I will be so much better once I get through my presentation tomorrow. I'm kind of glad that I'm presenting on the first day because it means I can just get it over with. At least I hope I'm still presenting on the first day. They've been changing the program. I don't know if it means because they've changed the schedule or not, um, so I need to double check. Actually, let me just go ahead and do that right now, or I'm going to be stressing about it. Yes. First day, and I'm in the three o'clock panel, so I just have to get through the morning by 4.10, it'll all be over. Uh, if we go in the order that we're listed, I will be the last presentation on the panel, which is slightly nerve-wracking. So I just went out to Waitrose, got some food, came back, and I've just been in here working on my presentation all afternoon. I got most of the writing done before before I went to Waitrose and then after I got back and after I had my suit, I was primarily focusing on getting the images put in. And then just a few minutes ago, I stood up at the, end, at the edge of the bed, turned on the slideshow and the present, presenter's view with my notes and ran through everything as if I was giving the presentation. And I came in under the 20 minutes, so that's good. So that gives me time to breathe and not talk in a rush. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here because literally all I'm going to do is eat dinner, maybe watch some TV or some Netflix or something. And I definitely want to go to sleep early. I'm still yawning. I'm starting to shiver again, not because I'm cold, but because I'm just tired. And I want to get everything ready to go for in the morning so that I have as little to do as possible in the morning. And I really want to go to sleep early so that I can wake up on time. It shouldn't take me that long to get there. I actually looked at directions on City Mapper, and it's only like 1.3 miles away. Which I thought my friend had told me it would take about 45 minutes to walk there, but City Mapper says 23. I would probably be closer to like 30 at the rate that I walk these days. But yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna walk there. I think I'm gonna probably take the tube. The, the bus would be a little bit faster according to City Mapper, but only by like a minute. And I'm not as familiar with the buses and where the stops are, when to get on, when to get off. And I, I need to work on that because I know sometimes the bus is the faster way. So I'll probably just take the tube. So I will show you what I can over the next couple days, but the conference really is taking up all day the next two days, especially tomorrow because there's a conference dinner after the conference ends. So I don't really want to be getting my camera out and filming <laughs> things. I will definitely let you guys know how it went. Sunday, I think things will get a little bit more exciting. I'm definitely going to try to get out of this immediate neighborhood <laughs> and actually go somewhere. I haven't been to St. Paul's yet, so I think I want to do that on Sunday. 
and maybe do some shopping over there. So I will definitely start making up for the lack of entertaining content once the conference is done. I'm gonna go eat because I'm feeling really hungry. And I will see you all soon in the next vlog. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> if you did, give it a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you all soon in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.